Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn what is DBLink in PostgreSQL. So DBLink is a kind of, uh, what do you say, the module in PostgreSQL through which you can access a table which is hosted on remote server in a database. So for our uh, setup, we have two server. One, uh, the IP address of target is 192.168.1.116 and the IP address of source is 192.168.113. So we have Postgre 13 running on both the uh, servers and we have a table which is existing on the target uh, database. The name is target and the table name is student. So from source server we are going to access the target uh, uh, database table which is a student so this is the setup so we have a source server which is running on uh, this ip 113 and to start with the uh, postgresql db link we need to install one of the extensions so we are going to uh, run this this is my source environment and you have to install PostgreSQL contrib. So this is required so that you can uh, use the uh, extension, DBLink extension from source to target. So in our case, we are accessing from source to target. So we are going to install only on source. Uh, since it is already configured and installed, uh, so it is going to give you this message that nothing to do, but in your case, you will have to install it. So this is the first step. And uh, what we have to do is uh, uh, we need to create a user on the source. We need to create a database on the source. So on the source server, what we are going to do is we are going to create a user. Let's log into PSQL. We are saying create user source and we are giving the password. Okay, let's drop it. So I had uh, done it earlier. So let's clean up uh, whatever it was existing earlier. Okay. Now we are going to create the user on the source database server, which is 113. So we are saying create user source password. We have mentioned the password. Okay. The use. Okay. Let me drop. Drop user source. Okay. Uh, owner of the user mapping. Okay, so let us drop server. Drop server. Okay. Okay, we'll say drop user source and then let's say we say cascade. Okay. Drop. DROP. Cascade. Okay, this is dropped. Let's clear the screen and then we are going to. Now, the uh, as a first step, we are going to create the user on the source uh, database server. So this is created. And uh, then we will say alter user. We are giving it a super user. Uh, this is still not dropped, so let's drop it. Drop user source, then we will create it. Okay, let's go back once again since it was not dropped. So we are going to create the user this time. It should okay. The user is created, uh, then we are going to alter the user so that it can have super user privilege. We have created the user with the super uh, user privilege. 
then we are going to create a database at the source so we are saying create database source db owner is source then what we need to do is we need to check whether our user is having the remote connectivity or not so we are saying psql h the ip address of the source is one so we are trying to connect from the same host with ip address and the same we will be trying so we are able to connect let's quit and we will be trying to connect it through the uh, target host as well so we are on the target server which is ip is 116 and we are trying to connect psql h host name of source hyphen d database name is source db and user is source okay we are able to connect through the target server as well the next step which we are going to do for the target is we are going to uh, i think in the previous setup i did clean or not so let me cross check it okay i already cleaned up uh, so in in target environment what we are going to do is we are going to create a user a database and then a table so we created a user which this name is target and we are going to create a database with the name target db and then we are going to create a table before that let's log in to the uh, the user uh, using the ip address on the target server itself so we are saying psql hyphen h the ip address of the target server hyphen d is the database name hyphen u is the username so give the password and we are able to log in now logged in through this user let's create a table whose name is uh, student with two column student id and student name then uh, insert some data and uh, we have inserted one row and just uh, do the select so this is what we have done on the target environment and this same uh, data we have to fetch from the source environment it's it's very very easy now what we are going to do on the source uh, side is we have checked all the connectivity and everything is fine now on the source we will log in as the super user and we are going to create an extension db link <clears throat> excuse me so this you have to do using the the user which we created and who is going to uh, create the db link so we are logged in as source user now the first thing which you do is create an extension this is required and prerequisite of this was you have to install the uh, download the contrib extension on the linux server the second thing which we are going to do is you need to remember this this is important this so we are saying create server it is a kind of link so we have given some name and then foreign data wrapper and then we have given db link underscore fdw option so this is which is uh, specific to our environment so host which host we wanted to connect we wanted to connect to 116 host database name where the data is existing it is existing in the database target db and and at what port it is running it is running on the 5432 so it has created the the link now what we are going to do is we are do, going to do a mapping of the user on the source side so what we are saying create user mapping for source we are saying for the source user uh, when it is going to connect through uh, the link ensure it uses the target uh, user and its password to connect to fetch the data right and just execute it user mapping has been done then you have to 
give the privilege so we are saying grant usage on foreign data and this is what we created to source user once it is done we will try to establish the connection what we are saying on the source side is select db link and connect db link and the uh, the name of the link which we had created so we are able to connect and the final step which is about fetching the data so we are saying select star from db link we have we are saying uh, con underscore db underscore link and then which table we are going to access select star from student as uh, uh, we just give some name and then the column details I'll just press enter so you can see from the source we are able to access the data which is there on the target so what what is that all we have done is just a recap uh, so DV link in PostgreSQL is a module through which you can access the data which is there on the target server on a particular database and in this case we are going to access a table which is a student table residing on the database target on remote server whose IP is 116 and we are trying to access this from 113 so in the setup what we have done it on the source side we have installed the PostgreSQL 13 contrib so this is required once this is required on the source side you create a user you alter the user so that it is a super user and then you uh, create a database on the source side and on the source side you try to connect uh, the user with the IP address and the same you have to do it from the target side also on the target side you create a user you create a database and uh, then you try to log in through that user with the IP address then you create a table inside the target database and then you put some data inside that once this is done we check whether uh, the remote connectivity is working using the psql h uh, the source ip and the target ip both with the source user and the target user then we create an extension db link then we create a server uh, with some name uh, with foreign data wrapper and then we mention the host ip the where uh, the uh, database is running then the database name and the port and then we map the user from the source to the target side then we say grant usage to that particular uh, uh, user on the target side and then finally this is what we do we say select db link just to verify the uh, the connectivity and we mention the uh, name of the remote server which we have created and then finally we display the data using this command I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.